Hi guys! Welcome sa Engineered Math Channel. Sa video na to ay tuturo ko sa inyo ang derivatives of inverse hyperbolic functions. So kung gusto niyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so this time ay ituturo ko naman sa inyo ang derivatives of inverse hyperbolic functions. So meron na tayong videos about derivatives ng hyperbolic functions. So this time, tuturo ko naman sa inyo yung formula kung paano maghanap ng derivatives ng inverse hyperbolic functions. So meron tayong anim na formula na kakabisaduhin. So we have the derivative of inverse hyperbolic sine inverse hyperbolic cosine, inverse hyperbolic tangent, inverse hyperbolic cotangent, inverse hyperbolic secant, and inverse hyperbolic cosecant. Okay? So, for the derivative ng inverse hyperbolic sine u or arc sin u, kung saan yung u natin dito is a function of x, any function. Okay? So, applying chain rule, it is equal to 1 over square root of u squared plus 1 times du over dx. So, yung du over dx, i-derivative natin yung uh, function of u in terms of x. Okay? Applying chain rule, right? And then, we have the derivative of inverse hyperbolic cosine u or arc cos u which is equal to 1 over square root ng u squared minus 1 times du over dx. Take note that our u is greater than 1. Okay? Then, the derivative of inverse hyperbolic tangent u or arctant u is equal to 1 over 1 minus u squared times du over dx where the absolute value of u must be less than 1. Okay, so in absolute inequality, it should be equal to negative 1 less than u less than 1, right? Okay, next we have the derivative of inverse hyperbolic cotangent u or arccot u equals 1 over 1 minus u squared times du over dx. So, mapapansin nyo, kapareho siya ng formula ni arc tans u, right? Pero yung restriction dito sa arc cos u is, dapat yung absolute value nung u is greater than 1. Or, this is also the same as u less than negative 1 or u greater than 1. Okay? Next, we have the derivative of inverse Hyperbolic second u or arc set u equal to negative 1 over u squared nung 1 minus u squared times d over dx where u must be in between 0 and 1. Okay? Then last, we have the derivative of inverse hyperbolic cosecant u or arc coset u is equal to negative 1 over absolute value of u square root of 1 plus u squared times d u over dx where u must not be equal to 0. Okay, so ito yung anim na formula na dapat natin tandaan sa paghanap ng derivatives ng inverse hyperbolic functions. So, mag-solve tayo ng examples para may illustrate kung paano sila gamitin. Okay? For the first one, we have find y prime if y is equal to arctanch of cosine 2x. Okay, so this time we have the inverse hyperbolic tangent. So, ang u natin dito is yung function inside which is yung cosine 2x. So, applying yung formula natin kanina, y prime will be equal to so for the arctanch we have 1 over 1 minus u squared times du over dx. So, 1 over 1 minus u squared times du over dx. So, substitute yung values. So, 1 over 1 minus u is cosine 2x. So, we have cos squared 2x times derivative nitong cosine 2x d over dx, right? So, we have 1 over 1 minus cosine squared 2x times so, this is another chain rule kung saan yung u natin is 2x. So, we have derivative ng cosine is so, derivative ng cos u is negative sin u times du over dx, right? So, we have negative sin u, which is 2x, times du over dx. So, derivative nitong 2x. Okay, so we have, so dito ko na ilagay, negative sin 2x over 1 minus cos squared 2x times derivative ng 2x is simply 2. 
So therefore, we have y prime is equal to negative 2 sine 2x over, so applying yung Pythagorean identity, so equal to saan? Sine squared 2x, right? Remember identity sa trigonometry. Y prime now will be equal to negative 2, so cancel si sine 2x sa numerator, tsaka isa sa denominator, magiging negative 2 over sine 2x na lang. Or, in terms of cosecant, pwede siyang negative 2 cosecant 2x. So, therefore, this is the final answer. Okay? Next, we have, find y prime if y is equal to x r cos x minus square root of x squared minus 1. Okay, so we have two functions. So, this time, itong unong function natin is a product of x and r cos x. So, gagamitin natin yung product rule. So, we have, let's say, u is equal to x and v is equal to r cos x. Okay, so we have derivative nyan is derivative ng uv is equal to u dv over dx plus v du over dx. So we have y prime is equal to so copy ko muna si u na x. So x times dv over dx. So derivative ni r cos x. So kanina ano yun? So, 1 over square root of u squared minus 1 times du over dx. So, this time, yung u natin is simply x lang, right? So, parang 1 over square root ng x squared minus 1 times du over dx. Dahil x lang naman si ating u, parang times 1 lang siya, right? Plus, this time, copy ko si r cos x or yung v times derivative ni u which is x. So, derivative ni x is 1 lang. Okay? So, minus ito naman tayo. So, rewrite ko tong x squared minus 1 raised to 1 half as fractional exponent. So, applying chain rule. So, ang inner function natin is parang u is equal to x squared minus 1. So, derivative niyan is u raised to n is equal to power formula muna, n, baba si n, times u raised to n minus 1, times du over dx. So, we have n natin is 1 half, right? So, 1 half times copy si u, x squared minus 1, then n minus 1. So, 1 half minus 1 times derivative nitong x squared minus 1, yung u, 2x, right? So, simplify natin. So, x over square root ng x squared minus 1, plus r cos x so minus so cancel dito si 2 right and then times x tapos ito magiging x squared minus 1 raised to 1 half minus 1 is negative 1 half times x okay so we have x over square root ng x squared minus 1 plus r cos x minus so, x over, dahil negative exponent si x squared minus 1, negative 1 half sa baba. So, square root ng x squared minus 1. So, makakancel natin to. So, matitira is simply y prime is equal to r cos x. So, therefore, this is the derivative. Okay? Next, we have, find y prime if y is equal to r set square root of 1 minus x squared. Okay, so this time, meron tayong inverse hyperbolic second. So, yung u natin dito is itong square root ng 1 minus x squared or 1 minus x squared raised to 1 half. So, therefore, yung formula natin kanina for arc set u is negative 1 over u square root ng 1 minus u squared times du over dx. So, therefore, we have y prime is equal to negative 1 over, so u is 1 minus x squared raised to 1 half times square root of 1 minus u squared. So, 1 minus x squared raised to 1 half squared pa, right? Times derivative ng u. So, d over dx, yung u is 1 minus x squared raised to 1 half. So, we have y prime is equal to, so, negative 1 over 
1 minus x squared raised to 1 half square root ng 1 minus. So, meron tayong 1 minus x squared raised to 1 half, tas naka-square. So, cancel. So, parang minus quantity 1 minus x squared na lang. Right? Times derivative nito. So, power formula uli. So, u natin is 1 minus x squared, yung inner function. Then, derivative nyan is derivative bali ng power formula. u raised to n is n u n minus 1 times du over dx. So, we have yung n natin is 1 half. So, 1 half times copy yung u 1 minus x squared n minus 1. So, 1 half minus 1 times derivative ng 1 minus x squared du over dx is negative 2x. So, y prime is equal to negative 1 over 1 minus x squared raised to 1 half square root of. So, pag distribute natin to parang 1 minus 1 plus x squared or simply x squared na lang, right? Cancel si 1 times. So, cancel dito si 2. So, magiging negative x na lang. Then, dito we have 1 minus x squared. So, 1 half minus 1 is negative 1 half times x. So, y prime is equal to. So, may negative pa pala dito, right? So, negative dito, tas negative sa unahan, positive na. So, we have x, and then, itong 1 minus x squared raised to 1 half. Tapos, si squared ng x squared is what? X, right? Makakalabas siya. So, we have x. Then, itong 1 minus x squared raised to negative 1 half, bababa. Kasi negative exponent. So, 1 minus x squared quantity raised to 1 half. So, y prime is equal to, so, cancel si x. So, magiging 1 over 1 minus x squared raised to 1 half times 1 minus x squared raised to 1 half. So, dahil paro silang base na 1 minus x squared, add natin yung exponent. Magiging y prime is equal to 1 over 1, 1 minus x squared. So, 1 half plus 1 half is 1. Or simply, 1 over 1. 1 minus x squared. So, therefore, this is the final answer. Okay? Next, we have, find y prime if y is equal to inverse hyperbolic sine tan x. Okay, so this time, meron tayong arc sinh ng tan x. So, ang yun natin bale is tan x. So, using the formula for the derivative ng arc sinh u, so we have 1 over square root ng u squared plus 1 times du over dx. So, therefore, we have y prime is equal to 1 over square root ng, so u squared, so u is tan x. So, tan squared x plus 1 times du over dx, so derivative ng tan x. So, y prime equals 1 over square root of tan squared x plus 1 times derivative ng tan x is what? Second squared x. So, therefore, we have y prime is equal to second squared x over square root ng tan squared x plus 1. So, pwede natin i-apply yung Pythagorean identity dito. Yung square root ng tan squared x plus 1 is what? Second x, right? So, we have Second squared x over second x. Okay? So, makakancel natin yung ating isang second sa numerator at sa denominator. So, we have second x. So, therefore, the final answer is second x. Okay? Okay, so I think that's it for this video. Derivatives of inverse hyperbolic functions. So, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panonood.